Hey guys, it's Viper GTS. Beautiful day today, mid 70s. So let's have some mid 70s. These are all 1977 LRPs, long range patrol. Have menu one, menu two, menu eight. Let's take one. I decided to go with this 1977 LRP, menu number two, which is chili con carne. And it ran at the same time as these guys did, which are the MCIs, or also called sea rations. They were a lot heavier than the LRP was. Well, these weigh well over a pound. This one is definitely just shy of a pound. The two here I have is a 1965 that has cigarettes in it. And the bottom one's a 1974 that actually does not contain cigarettes but that's fine. And then these were eventually both replaced by menus like this. Modern retour pouches, LRP. So let's check out the contents of this guy right here. Again, 1977, menu two, chili con carne. We have the normal wrapped packaging of the main. Accessory pack menu number two. So it contains coconut candy bar, matches, coffee, cream, and sugar. And geez, that's it. These are always very simple meals. Open up this main here. Should have the spoon and the napkin inside. So like a carne with beans, Shrubble Paper Company, and Older Style MCI Spoon. All right. And here is accessory packet number two. Just opened it up. On top there are matches, white tips. Worked just fine. Next we have the coconut bar, one and a half ounces. Smells very horrible, very stale, like sawdust, I guess. Next we have the, what we got here? Cream substitute dry, but it does not say non-dairy. It's very crunchy, probably not good. Pack of sugar, just fine, always good. And then last seems to be Two packs of coffee instant type one and they're both completely crispy and shot plan B on those but let's get some hot water going for the main the chili does call for 13 ounces of water which is half a canteen cup so I added that plus a couple more for the coffee let's open up this chili there's a tear notch right there any hiss no, not at all. Oh, no. It smells very stale. Take a look. It seems that whenever I get these, they feel very oily and greasy on the outside. Not sure why that is, but pretty consistent. The inside does smell stale, but still smells all right. So I'm not looking forward to the coffee, but we're gonna try it anyway. So here's a type one. Listen to that. Yeah, it's pretty much shot. Let's see what we get. Oh boy. Uh, it's just flaking off. Yeah, still gonna try it. Uh, I'm sorry guys, my phone is being crazy, or my camera is being crazy, whatever you want to call it. But I did add the normal 13 ounces of water to the chili. It smelled pretty good. We'll see how it goes. 
and uh, letting that sit for a few minutes, let it rehydrate. Most of the coffee's in there, some of it's crispy as well. Give it a stir with our MCI spoon, give it a try. Tastes all right, very watery, even though there's almost no water in this, but it's very shot, so I didn't add that cream substitute in there. So the main should be done. Take a look. It's been about, I don't know, 10 minutes. This smells like old chili. Let's pour this out. These rations are always so big once you rehydrate them. And it looks just fine. Taste? We'll see. Smells okay too. A lot of beans in there. Little pieces of beef. And it's actually surprisingly okay. It does taste very old, but still edible. Mmm. Some of the coffee. Going to finish some of this, but it's in the danger zone, so maybe just a bit. I'm worried about the coconut bar, though. I probably ate more of this than I should have, but oh well. So far, I feel okay. But let's check out that coconut. Nice wax coating, a little bit of bloom. Chocolate just smells old. Let's try to peel this open. Oh boy, looks dark. Gonna try it anyway. Oh, yeah. <coughs> well, that didn't work out, but I still feel like having some chili today, so plan B. Thanks for watching, guys.